path today is Claiborne County. The National Weather Service saying an intermittent EF0 tornado with winds up to 65 miles per hour and a width of about 20 yards touched down near Tazewell. That is according to preliminary results. Six on your side reporter Jordan Brown spending the day in Claiborne County today as crews survey the damage. It's just really scary for a few minutes. It was there and then it was gone, but not before it made its presence known. The National Weather Service visiting the new Tazewell area to assess the damage from what they now say was an intermittent EF0 tornado. We're taking a look at some of the wind damage that occurred yesterday with storms that rolled through. Uh, assessing based on the damage, you know, was there trees snapped or uprooted, was there damage to roofs. Assessing the damage tells them how fast the wind was going and in what direction. Most structures were spared from any major damage, but a few were impacted. The house didn't get any damage at all, but my neighbor's barn there, it blew the roof off of it and blew it up in the field behind it. The biggest thing I noticed is everything was just real calm right before everything hit. The tornado warning went off and I'm going to say within 10 seconds it was through and gone. Everything was quiet again. In Claiborne County, Jordan Brown, WATE, six on your side. Point this out from Jordan, too. She says if you have any damage to your home, the National Weather Service advising you to notify local emergency management or law enforcement. Matt Hinkin, of course, joining us now. And Matt, I know that yesterday, last night, you were in this area that Jordan was at today. Yeah, we were in the Tazewell community of Claiborne County. Now, EF0, you look outside right now, you see, wow, it's nice and dry and, and all the storms have gone to the east of us. But yeah, EF0, you might think it's uh, just a, it's on the lower scale of the EF scale, the Enhanced Fujita uh, Tornado Scale, which shows damage and that sort of thing. So we did have some pictures of what it looked like on the radar. You look at the Storm Tracker 6, this is what it looked like last night. And you can see basically that red triangle, that gray, yellow triangle, that polygon, I guess we should call it, that's where the tornado was indicated. We, we can show you a couple of different vantage points here. One of these tells us the wind's shear. This is the uh, uh, velocity, the strength of the wind. The strength of the wind gives us the wind speed. So that gives us an idea. I've uh, got a couple other ones where you can see, yeah, you can see that was uh, rotating images that you may not be able to pick it out by as it, as it ro rolls by that quick, but just for a brief period, and I understand maybe just two scans of the radar, the, scan, the radar scans consistently uh, into the atmosphere, but only two scans of the radar is what they, you know, caught that tornado and quickly caused damage up in Claiborne County. So it's kind of what you're looking at right there. So it may have been a little deceiving to you, hard to understand, but the bottom line is it was a very, very small tornado, about the smallest you can get with a, about 20 yards. So about the length, you know, 20 yards, 100 yard football field. So just a small touchdown can do a little bit of damage like we saw across East Tennessee. So we do have dry conditions across the region. We don't expect anything as big as far 